I think this stage there needs to be a constant reminder on these videos. I think going forward, there is a lot of themes once again of self-harm and not even themes. It is on the surface right in front of your face um a uh, suicide um and also at the same time i think we also need to talk about there is capital punishment in this video as well um all that stuff there is or, th or ideas of capital punishment i should say uh but yeah just if you guys are uh, upset about that stuff and it's okay if you are you can click away from the video i will say from now on i say in the videos it's probably going to be like that going forward because this is one of the most harrowing games i've ever played Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Warmer, and this is Sally Face. This is my first ever playthrough of Sally Face. We're kind of stuck behind this pi We didn't read the- wait, what's this? Switch to Larry? Hold on. So as Larry, we can see... Are we in like- yeah, we are on like a, the other side here. Do we have an inventory? We don't... What's this, though? Larry, this is the dead zone. Press R to squeeze it tight to summon the power from within. You must use this ancient relic to assist Sally. What does it do? Hello? So that... Oh, and maybe that will show up the symbols that we play in the guitar, then. That is way different than what I thought we were going to be doing. Maybe? I thought that's what would happen. Maybe we have to go back into the other world as well. Hold on a second though. We got this as well. Oh, Jesus. Sal, I know this can be hard for you to understand. I'm sorry. Please don't blame yourself. And please don't hate me. I was lucky to have you in my life and I couldn't have asked for a better brother than you, dude. I know you're going to do great things. You got to keep going. Keep fighting the darkness. It's coming closer now. I can hear it whispering in my head. It's getting louder. I just need this to end. I can't take it anymore. I'm not strong like you are. I love you, Sally Face. Always. See you on the other side, Larry. That's so freaking upsetting that something like this could happen. And that's like the thing is like you never know as well. I know that's such like a cliche thing to say. But truly and honestly, honestly... We don't know. Do we switch now again? It's something that could be anything, you know what I mean? It could be anyone, it could be the happiest person you know is feeling this way. You know what I mean? Are we gonna get some symbols on the thing? Not yet, anyway. Like, we got... Oh, we do! Okay. So it's... Sorry. It seems to be stuttering a bit. Was it X? So that did some of it? Or that just broke the pillar? Okay, you don't have to play all of it. And then we can drop down. This is a very weird... This game took a turn. But it was... It's like... Oh, oh like the black gunk as well? We can drop down as well if we want to, but maybe we should check out this floor first. Not letting us check out this floor, maybe? Fair enough. Leave this floor. There's no Is there nothing here? I mean, this was the most haunted floor of them all. And there's another one of these pillars as well, so we're gonna have to drop down as well. Wait, Dad and Lisa, how are they doing? Are they gonna even notice? Oh, they look a little bit... What are you guys doing? We're watching TV, but what's the point, really? These shows are all the same. Everything has become so predictable. Um, it's just static. Are you two alright? We're fine, Sal. Just fine. Everything is peachy. Okay. Everything is peachy. Okay. Like, I'm guessing we're gonna have to continue destroying the pillars as we're going down. It seems like they're not really affected in that way by it.
This is the college room as well. Oh no, this is uh, Robert. So you on the Fritz again? Huh? Well, I guess. I don't know. It's like very, like, like apathy almost. So I guess then we're gonna have to switch to... This is interesting because we haven't had to do this yet. And now this is a full-blown mechanic in the game. Oh, we can drop down too. Great. There's not gonna be a whole thing we have to do down below. Should we explore this place as... Ghostly Larry? It's kind of depressing to be playing as Ghostly Larry, huh? <laughs> oh, there's no handle. Can we change that? Maybe not. Let's drop down anyway. Like, yeah, everyone seems pretty apathetic, which also means that we have no extra witnesses here. Oh, we can't just do that. We have to find the static, I think, do we? Robert's place. What do the inside of the rooms look like? That's actually going to make me... Uh, that's, I'm actually very curious about this. Nothing in here. Oh, here we are. What the hell? Hang in there, dude. Like, yeah, we can see it, but they don't see a thing. What is another one of these static things? Shit, are you two okay? What the hell is this? Mom, Henry? If you can hear me, we're gonna fix this. Just hold on. Yeah, and like... Again, it's just so weird. Sounds like something's happening in the hallway. Yeah, that's the pillar. Because this is what's gonna do in Sally Face as well. And then we'll send the pillar over to... The, uh, send it over uh, Sal's way as well. Like, in terms of the trial? So it's... Wait, that wasn't right? Wait, which symbol is that? Oh, which symbol is that? We got it right. Oh, so that's a countdown. I was like, oh my god, I'm not very good at that. Which is funny, because I play guitar in real life. <laughs> Which, you know, I think Tom Morello commented on Guitar Hero before how, like, Guitar Hero was very difficult for him. By the way, I'm not on the level- Oh my no! Are you serious? I guess what's meant when he said when he was leaving. Oh my god, this is so bad. This game is a lot, and I, I imagine a lot of people probably had a hard time playing this, especially when it first came out. Even by today's standards, there's not many games that deal with this in such a graphic way. And such an in-your-face way as well. We can't do anything with this anyway. Okay, let's go drop down another level. And there's another pillar, it's David's place. How are you doing, David? Hey, must look. Far beyond the anguish of life, deep into the nature of all things, therein lies our salvation. I agree. I love Sal's look, by the way, here. I cannot believe what happened up there, though. Like, literally, like, like, that's such a crazy way to go as well, alone. And, like, asking us to leave, asking us to not go. I wonder if we could have changed that anyway. I wonder if we could have changed a lot, a lot of the things that happened in this game. Oh, well, they're all together. Hey. Sally Face, it's good to see you. Hello, Sal, what's happening? Greetings, I'm glad you can make it. Can't save too long. I'm sort in the middle of something. It's good to see you all, though. Are you feeling all right? We are, Danny, but everything is peachy. You should stay, Sal. Yes, it'll be best for you to stay here. There's no use in fighting it, friend. I really should be going now. Everything is fine. Don't worry, Sal. You'll see. Is it like that? Kind of like a, um... Like, kind of something about staying with the, uh... Addison Apartments. You know what I mean? Like, staying in the Addison Apartments. You should stay, dude. It's great here. You should stay. So we have another thing we can drop down right now with Larry. What is 403 like in the other world? Oh no. 
Herman, what the hell happened to you? You look like shit, dude. I could say the same to you. How did you- Wait a minute, how are you here? Same as you. Dead. I mean, how are you in this room? The spirits here should be confined to this place of death. Sandy should be here, but it's too late. I was too late. She's gone. All of the old souls have been assimilated. Rosenberg, like, broke the spell that was holding me in the treehouse or something. I'm not really sure. You know what happened to the other ghosts? Does it have to do with the cult? It doesn't matter now. Nothing does. I just need to wait here until it takes me. It's the faith we are all f we'll all face eventually. It's not too late. Sal is going to stop this thing, and I'm going to help him do it. Your efforts will be wasted. This is so dark. 404. Oh my god, speaking of darkness. Someone uh, in the comments the other day talked about... Oh yeah, like it's kind of like... What is this? Someone in the comments yesterday, or the other day, said that Sal is the type of person to see a bunch of ghosts and be like, Hey ghosts, it's your boy, like that beam. And I feel like, you know, they're probably just used to it at this stage, but like, Sal is a very, very brave person. Because a lot of stuff in this, uh, this game that I would not be able to do. Personally. Oh my god, look, it has legs and arms, the mannequin. Oh my lord. I wonder if we know David as well as, uh... Sal knows David, uh, like, as Larry, I suppose. Oh my god, that's freaky when they're all together. I guess we have to look for the thing though. I, I didn't even find it actually. Hold on a second. I wasn't even looking for it at the time. Not around here? That's interesting because usually we find it like right away, don't we? So I'm guessing it has to be in here then. In CJ's place. Well, who knows? It might be a little bit further down. Oh. Is that it? Because it's static? I have no idea what to, to do with this puzzle. That's a common theme with me. Has to have something to do with the, the stereo. But, like, what is not. I don't... I don't know. Like, there's no... Like, if we change it from... Okay, let's switch to Sal for a moment. Where would where do we leave Sal? And let's go check out this stereo then. One, two, 
Is that what we have to do? I'm so confused, like, can we, like... I'm... I... Oh my god, this is like the... This is always like the worst part for me because, like, I, f I feel really dumb then. Wait. Maybe we both have to switch to static? Maybe that's a thing? Yes. Perfect. But that's not everything though, like, because we, we have one down and now it's taking two to do this, right? Unless it... I wonder, does it give you more time if you do two, though? Because we did two last time. Is there anything here that we could change as well? Because I'll take the extra time. Doesn't seem to be anything different. Okay, let's just try and do the pillar then. I'm probably missing out on stuff again like I always do. Wait. Where is that symbol? There's the eye. No, wrong one, sorry. Oh my god. Then it's... Where's that one? Where's that one? Did that do it? Barely. Okay, we only needed one this time. So let's check out the other parents. We're trying to get down. We're trying to just get down to the floors. Hello, all oh, the poor little baby soda. Chuck, how are you feeling, buddy? Feeling? Yeah, there's uh, something going around. I think it'll be cleared up soon, though. Uh, soon? Yeah, just keep an eye on soda, okay? Soda? Your daughter, remember her? She's sitting right next to you. Nope, a cola is actually a really good name for a cola as well, though. Three oh four. Not that in here. Okay, let's drop down. This is a big moment. It feels like there's a lot happening. Packerton's old place. Todd's parents' home. Before the light, there was darkness and nothing more. Bathroom. I wonder if it's just this case of just going to knock down a pillar again. <laughs> but we might have to. I might stay in here and then switch to Larry and then jump. Oh no, we should check with the other apartments first. Leave here. Whoa, they're like in between. That's not good at all. Why do we take that toy? I don't know. Oh my god, they're like in between. And there's no door here. Okay, so we have Todd's parent place. Let's see if we can just... It, it might be something basic, or like, lately it's been a puzzle.
paintings. What can we do with this? Yeah, I don't think it does belong to her at all. I can't. Okay, let's switch back to Sal for a moment. You're supposed to see a bunch of paintings here. Can't go into the bathroom. Todd's parent place, Packerton's old place. Can't get in here. I have no idea. I don't know. I, I know I say I have no idea all the time. I'm just trying my best to like even like jog my brain a little bit. But I feel like saying I have no idea is probably the opposite of what you're supposed to do. That door is blocked off completely. I can't activate that here, no? Just see, I was seeing if maybe the paintings would like appear. Some kind of gulag on it. Destroy! So there's another relic here. Wait, we can do that with the doors as well? Man, that feels... That feels kind of weird. I don't know. There's nothing we can pick up in here at all. Nothing at all. Wait, that means the door is open for um, Sal as well. I didn't realize we could do that. That's gonna be kind of. That's gonna kind of maybe come back to haunt me. Why would we do that? Is there something we have to send over there to Larry through the toilet? If so, that's gonna be so freaking cool. But I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna get... ...what we need to get. We don't really have anything. Card? Can we flush this? No, that's for, yeah, that's for the basement. No. can't even get into the here either. Or should I have, like... Let's switch back to Lara Lara for a second. It's not like we can't destroy the toilet, can we? Wait, what did we get in the toilet? Oh, it was already in the to Okay, so that's how it worked. Fair enough.
But is there anything else we can get here? I guess we just opened the door for Sal as well, though. I was trying to see if we could activate something there. Bedroom 2? Nothing we can do here. Okay, let's switch to Sal and then go back into the 201 then. That was a really cool way of doing a puzzle, by the way. Yep, just like that. Anything in the bathroom could do flush again? Looks like a pooper in it. This was, uh, yeah, this was, um, the, yeah, the, the place where they had all the bodies in it. The meat, the you and meat. Bedroom one isn't available here. In our world. <laughs> or in the other world. Was it available? I just wonder if there's anything else we can find here. Like, let's switch back to Larry for a second. So you could be. Now that we know we can destroy the goo, this means a lot more. No, not here. Oh, there is a bed. Wait again to bedroom one. Okay. There we go. Let's uh, make it easy on ourselves. We don't have to do the walk later on. So I guess we just... Oh, we just leave. Yeah, we just leave. Such a cool way of doing this puzzle, though. And, like, it's it's usually sometimes switcheroos are kind of annoying. Uh, I I never really had a problem with them, really. Oh, we have to go back to the pillar anyway. <laughs> uh, mostly because, like, the switcheroos that are video games usually work really well. play this tune again. What's this one? And it's, uh... Almost pressed the wrong one there. Oh. Where's this one? Where's that one? Oh, God. And then it's... And then it's... Oh, my God, just barely. But still, though. That's not too tough of a, of a thing to do, but it's it's interesting. We're almost down to the bottom floor. I'm pro we probably have to go all the way to the basement. Charlie's old place. Still thinking about Charlie. Episode 1, Charlie. Make sure we can find anything. Because we found the, the stuffed toy. I wonder if giving it back to Charlie would be a good idea. <laughs> but he's still alive though, isn't he? That Well, we think he's still alive. No, we think he's dead, don't we? Or at the very least, replaced. Let's go down. Rosenberg's old place. Oh, Mr. Gibson? How does a rant smell coming from a room? Now we're on the, the top floor though, it's crazy. The rants and smell, did she die? Oh, we should have checked the other... That's my bad. We should have checked the other apartments. I guess I was just in a rush to kind of get down here and see what's happening. Oh, wow. Wait. Hold on a second. So we don't even have to do anything. Well, let's check it out anyway. I guess we can't. Okay. It's just that simple. This is going to be the hardest one now. We're going to have to, to book it. <laughs> We're going to have to book it with the guitar. Let's go. I can't get over how cool Sal looks now. Which one's that first? 
That's that's this one. That's this one. That's this one. That's this one. That's Curse of Thorn. That's this one. Oh my god, I'm so bad at that. Okay. This one. Uh this one. Uh where is that now? It's here, isn't it? Uh oh god, it's this one. And then back over to here. And then back over to here. And then Curse of Thorn. And then this one. And then this one. Just barely again. <laughs> But now we... Wait, what am I... A young boy stands at the threshold of oblivion. Mesmerized by the eternal abyss. Huh? Tormented and bound by the world of mankind. Oh my god, we're seeing him. In this fashion as well. Prisoner of flesh and bone. How long have you been like this? So we need to assume that like- Oh my god! That is a visual. Did the cult do this to you? The child does not choose his own fate. It's always been this way. You will soon understand the true harmony of the Endless One. Are you the Endless One? Why are you infecting souls in this? The darkness moves through all things and obeys our will. We are everlasting and we are beyond death. Terence, I know you're in there somewhere. You have to stop this. You speak the name of a child who is no more. Your struggle is meaningless. The true form of Terence Addison. That's horrifying. Then I'll stop you myself. How? You will try and you will fail as it is always is. Oh my god, look at this. Wait, we're playing the guitar? Oh! Oh! Okay, let's go. Okay. I'm so bad at this. Oh my god, oh god, no, 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 no! Okay, that's one. Oh my god, we're gonna have to get so much better at this. This is really cool though. If someone could do this fast, I bet it looks even cooler. I bet I'm not doing it justice. And then... That's so legit cool. What a way to do a freaking boss battle in this game. In a game I didn't think we'd ever have a boss battle in it. That's down here. That's right here. That's also here. That's then this one. And then that's that one. And then it's Curse of Thorn. Oh my god, we're barely getting it. No, just give me the give me the win. Give me the win. Give me the win. Give me the win. So that's uh, this one. Thank you. That's this one. Uh, that's down here. That's across here, up, and then that's back here. Uh, that's back here. Uh, that's Curse of Thorn. Uh, that's down here. And that's up. Okay, barely getting this now. Oh, it's the, the main event. Okay. And then it's uh Oh, it's all the ups for now. Oh my god. That's not- Oh, how much- Oh no, I'm scared. Let me try again. Oh, down to this one. Okay, I see how this is. I know how to do this now though, so that's fine. Oh my god. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And so we do... And then we do... And then we do... Uh... Okay, like that. Oh, I thought they were gonna go all the way around again. I've been waiting for you, Sal. I knew- wait, this is Ter- so this is- as a kid? I knew from the moment I saw you. Terence? My apologies, good sir. I haven't been quite myself, and I've caused so much pain. Is it over now? Almost. I'm afraid there's one more task remaining, and it is a hideous one. 
Whatever is, I will do it. Whatever it takes to end this for good. You must kill all those been tainted by the dark. But that's everyone in this building. Those are my friends and family. What? We've cleared the darkness from their soul. We've already saved them. I'm afraid it's too late for them, Sal. Their souls are destroyed beyond repair. So this is why he... Does he kill all of them? If left unchecked, the shadows will seep through these cracks and many more lives will be extinguished. My heart weighs heavy and sorrow for you. I know you will lose everything just as I had many years ago. I don't think I could do this. Please make me do this. Please don't make me do this, Terence. It is your choice to make. I know it is an extraordinary burden to bear, but I also know that you will do the right thing. I... No! Do we have to kill everyone? Addison is right, Sal. It must be done. I'm so sorry. I wish there was another way. That's the clearest phantom's ever been. What? No, they're not going to make me do this. What? Would you have me get into my apartment? <laughs> what? I've seen it all. We need to talk to him. What in the world is happening? No, not the college students. Hey, dude, glad you decided to come back. Now we really get this party started. What are you on about? You're dead now. This is horrific. This is probably the most horrific game I've ever played. For sure. No. I, I refuse. I refuse to murder David. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, I'll murder David. Hey, Shaz, you feeling alright? You think there's something going around? No, David. And I can't even walk past him in his apartment. David was such a king. <gasps> no. 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 You cannot make me. Please. So if he's going hard, you sure is now? Oh my god. Oh no, not Robert. <laughs> Who wrote this? Who decided this was fun? There's no, there's no, of course we're going to prison. There's no way we get out of this. Let's just get over and done with it. Hey, there's some leftover lasagna in the fridge. And they have lasagna. You know, I'm not going to say it's enough. I'm proud of you, Sal. You've come a long way and it has, it hasn't all been easy. Look at you now. I'm excited about the man you're becoming. I think you've got a bright future ahead of you. I already do. I love you, buddy. This is so effed. Look at this. Can we leave now? Oh, Todd. Something is wrong. I blacked out in the trios and woke up in the temple. They had me tied down. There was something else. I think there was a demon. They cut me and took some of my blood. It was a loud look at- oh my god, he's so- he looks so like he's possessed or something. When I came to, they were gone and I was untied. I don't feel right, Sal. I think I'm dying. You will be when I'm f through with you. What? Like, you can't blame the police and the prosecutors in this sense, right? Unless they're in on it, but like, you can't blame them in this sense. Like, this is proper, like... From my perspective, I would blame Sal. You know, just from an outside perspective. It was on 3am when I got the next phone call from Todd. He was crying so hard I could barely make it out what he was saying. I knew Todd and Sal were in trouble and they were at the apartments. It sounded serious so I called the police and rode over there right away. I got there just as the police showed up. On my way to the front door I saw Todd running into the, into the woods. I called out for him, but he just kept running. 
I approached the building and Sal was standing in the doorway covered in blood, just staring out. He was mumbling the same thing over and over. I had no choice. I had to do it. There wasn't any other way. I tried to talk to him, but he was unresponsive. The cops pulled me away before I got closer to him. Sal isn't an evil man. He's not a bad person. He just needs help. And see, that's her perspective as well. Dr. Annan, you've handled Mr. Fisher's psychiatric assessment during this time in prison, including several months of therapy sessions. Is this correct? Wait, he's alive? Yes, that is correct. What, do you include, what have you concluded from your time with the defendant? It is my professional opinion that Sal Fisher is perfectly sane and was 100% lucid while he proceeded to, uh, proceeded to murder the occupants of Addison Apartments. The elaborate story he concocted is simply that a story. A tale to make him out to be the hero rather than the villain. He was so convinced that I, I even began to believe, believe his story. I went out to the apartments to visit the treehouse and Sal requested there was nothing there at all. You're not him! They replaced him as well! In fact, the further I poked into his story, the more inconsistencies there were. These inconsistencies, along with all of the contradictory evidence, proved to me that Sal was not delusional, but simply lying to protect himself. F you, man. In your opinion, is Sal Fisher a threat to the public? Absolutely, without a doubt. This is so effed, but like, again, you see it from their perspective. If he's not insane, which we know he's not. Remember the jury, have you reached a verdict? You ask, you are, we have reached a verdict. Not guilty. In the case of Sal Fisher versus the county of Knockville, what do you say? Not guilty. Mass murder. It is mass murder. First degree mass murder, guilty. I agree with the jury in the verdict and the gu of guilt. Because of the severity of the crime committed, I hereby send Sal Fisher to receive capital punishment. Okay, that's not too bad. What? No, that's terrible. I personally don't agree with the death penalty. That's my opinion. Take it or leave it. No, he can't do it. He's sick. He needs our help. He's not sick either. Order, order the court. Order. I don't agree with the death penalty, personally. I don't agree with it at all. Three years later, Ashley had tried in, in almost every way she could think of to prevent Sal's ex execution and failed with each attempt. Now she sits in her living room as this news reveals today that it is the day that Sal will be executed. A deep sadness washes over her. It is then that the idea comes to Ash that she could change everything. So she'd have to act fast. Is that the end of the chapter? Larry, are you here? Please, dude, if you're here, then show yourself. We need to help Sally's in trouble. This is all happening so fast, but at the same time, it's like almost dragging on at the same time. It's just everything's going and going and going, but like they're dragging us through the glass. I brought some of your old music. That doesn't work. This is the last time I'm coming up here. Larry? Oh, here he is. Holy fucking shit. Hey, Ash. You guys are telling the truth this whole time. Well, yeah, duh. I knew it. Well, I had my doubts, obviously, but I really wanted to believe it. Just don't fall out of the treehouse, okay? Huh? Never mind. How are we gonna help Sal? Well, I have a plan. Just hold still for a sec. Wait, it's not gonna work, though. You're not gonna show up in the picture. Shit, that's bright. Damn. He's not gonna show him in the picture. Oh, he did! But as a ghostly goo. Well, that's not gonna prove, though. You could do that Photoshop on a Polaroid, right? <laughs> that's the main theme of the, 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 the... Again, they played this at the end of Chapter 1. Sick. Wait, are we driving? Oh my god! <laughs> mm, my god, this is kind of sick. As this is happening too. Drive on the right side of the road. I don't want anything bad to happen. Oh, you can actually move a little bit faster as well. I didn't realize. Yeah, there you go.
I'm afraid you're too late, honey. They're strapping him in now. He was telling the truth, I have proof, please. Oh no. You just have to wait. Just let me show you what I found. No! Hey! This is so crazy. What's gonna happen? This is the most horrific game I've ever played. This is the most harrowing game I've ever played. Time of death is 6.33 p.m. Just like that. Just like that. Salo God, no. Oh my lord. All the different bodies here. So a loving husband to Cassandra Sanderson. 1999 is where it is, yeah? Oh wait, sorry. I'm 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 being a bit weird here. Robert Silva Morrison. Ray and Janice shared the grave, even Death Gun teeped the two apart. Chug Co Oh. So it was 1999 when this happened. Hey Chug, miss you dude. I miss him too. Soda! I can't. Yeah, I couldn't eat her. Son of Lisa and Jim Johnson, 1999. They never did find Larry's body. Mother of Larry Johnson, wife of Henry Fisher, 1999. Lisa was always so nice to me, she treated me like family. Husband of Lisa Johnson Fisher, father to Sal Fisher. I imagine I, how much this would hurt Sal. And this is Sal's son of Henry and Diane Fisher, 1976-2004. So it was years after, five years after. I wish you were here, Sal. Sorry I haven't visited in a few nights. Things have gotten worse. This is all such it's it's really crazy. Like it's really crazy. It's been five months since Todd escaped from the institution. I hope he's okay. He escaped? He's gotta be under that darn church. It's the one place we haven't been able to get to. They're down there. I know they are. They have my Todd. You're Todd. Did you get the rest of C4 from your army friend? I got it last night. Have you found a way in? I think so, yeah. We should go choose the night. That's when they're least active. Remember our agreement. If we get caught down there, we won't. We're going to get Todd and then blow that place to bits. Neil, I'm serious. So am I. But if we do get caught, then yeah, we take him down with us. I'm ready. Good. At least one of us is. So this is where we're going to kind of kick off the next episode for... Guys, thank you so much for watching. You know what? I got time. Let's go. Let's see what we're doing here. Have you fed Maple yet? I tried. She's still not eating. I'll see if I have any luck. Do you need a hand? Nah, I've got it. Did you bring the new package to the shed? Yep. You think you found a connection with Todd's work? I think it's something big and missing piece. I mean, like, like, it's crazy everyone's dead. It's crazy everyone's dead. Hope you're right. We're about due for some good luck. Like, it doesn't feel real. Like, it doesn't. Like, everyone died so fast. Everyone died so fast. picture here. Is that? Oh, it was Larry and his grandmother. They lived down the road from me. That's when we became good friends. That's so sweet but sad. It's crazy. We're playing as Ashley.
We are playing as Ashley. What? Well, what? Yeah, there's Sal's room as well. Gizmo, how's Gizmo doing? Hey, Gizmo, you need anything? He hasn't left your room since the execution. It's like he knows. Animals can sense that. People who say cats don't feel emotions, I know, are very, very weird. Anything in the bathroom we can check out? She's a bit of a slouch, but that's okay. I forget the code. Four, five. No, that's not it at all. Oh, she knows it though. That's so cool. That's such a cool way of doing it. Okay. Final prophecy of Sita Tali Gray, a rough and incomplete transition. The blue flame not extinguished still flickers in the night. He sees that between worlds, the child of abomination wielding light beyond man pierces through the endless black. Betrayer of our kind, resurrected by Anisma, his sword, blood of man, rises to protect the great uh, atrocity and prevent the triumph of humankind. Sitalia, Native American seer, origin unknown, previous council member of the devourers of God, possibly of the original formation, Anisma. Anisma? is referring to a collection of three pyramids. I've obtained one of them and have been searching for t uh, the other two. I'm not sure exactly who the child of uh, the abomination is, but if they're an enemy of the cult, they, they could much uh, be a much needed ally. What else do we have here? Package. Grab the package? Not yet, or maybe we should check. Do we have anything else to check? I don't think we do, do we? We checked out most things in the house. Unless there was something we should have checked out. We got these weird pyramid things in the mail. Another package from a mysterious cultist insider. Todd had a third pyramid, third pyramid in the shed. Third. In his notes, he says he found in the temple under the old apartments. They seem to be pretty important. There are several mentions of a prophecy in Todd's notes about them. He was actively looking for the other two. I think they might be linked to you somehow. No matter how I turn these things, nothing happens. I thought something would happen this time. Sal, there's something else I need to tell you. The replacements were sloppy at first, but they're getting better now. It's harder to tell the difference. I can't trust anyone. So the people that are replacing me, especially like the therapist. That therapist was not our therapist. We know he died. Those things creep me out, dude. They aren't human. I know what you mean. So you think that pyramid thing that Todd found could help us find Sal? It seems like it. I pieced together what I could find in the, about the old cult prophecies. And from what I can tell, there are three pyramids that will summon their destruction. All signs point to Sal as the one who can stop them. I'm not sure how or why, but it's the best chance we have. I always knew Sally Face would do great things. Don't give up on him, Ash. You have to find him. That's great. I won't ever. I just need to find the other two pyramids. Once I'm free from this fucking treehouse, I'll help you find them. Larry, I don't know if this is a good idea, but what if burning down the treehouse only makes things worse? Trust me, it can't get any worse. I can't live like this anymore, you know, not live, but whatever. I can't stay stuck in this place. You don't know what it's like. It's torture. I can't, I can feel it changing me. Nothing else, uh, nothing else has worked to break the binding spell. What if you end up in the black room instead of being free? Your soul will dissolve into darkness. We don't know that for sure, and even so, the nothingness would be better than existing like this. Please, Ash, you have to help me. Larry's just not having it anymore. If I do this, you have to promise me you'll be okay. Promise me you won't fade away. I promise. He can't promise that. He can't promise that. Oh my god. Everything's happening so quickly. I went back to burn the bird tree every night for weeks. He's just gone. He, he's gone? I can't bring myself to go anymore. Another screw up in a long list of my failures. 
This morning I went over to Neil's place. Hello, Neil, you home? Is Neil gone too? Okay, I can't take any more for a while. <laughs> Whatever happened to Neil, we can deal with next time. This is probably the most insane uh, episode of a playthrough I've ever had in my life. It's crazy. I really think that, like, the, it, the story didn't grab me at first, but now I kind of want to know what's happening. It's still weird to piece it together to, like, and people did say to drag the story out of it, you have to explore a lot. I'm just not always good at that stuff. Uh, but still, it's, it's a fun game uh, if you like being tortured. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs>